2024. Joining me right now is 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, who is at 8 percent of the vote. Vivek, uh, thanks very much for being here this morning. Can you talk to us about your plan for America? What is your platform? My core platform is get in there and shut down the administrative deep state, the three letter agencies, the regulatory state. That is a threat to our constitutional republic from the FBI to the IRS to the ATF to the U.S. Department of Education. I don't think we can just incrementally reform those agencies, Maria. I think we have to get in there and shut them down. And that is our ticket to not only restoring the integrity of our government, but also to stimulating the economy. Because those three-letter agencies are actually the source of the unconstitutional federal regulations that act like a wet blanket on businesses both large and small in our economy. And so that's why a centerpiece of my agenda is delivering GDP growth, economic growth. And Maria, it is my conviction that young people, all people, are more proud of a country, more united behind that country when we are all making more money in that country. And so these things go hand in glove together to be able to both restore the integrity of our constitutional republic by getting rid of that fourth branch while yeah. also stimulating the economy in the process. Well, that all sounds very good, Vivek, especially in the face of all of these allegations of corruption and cover up at the DOJ and the FBI. So it leads me to the next question of did you just say the other day that you want to pardon Hunter Biden? We have evidence, bank records of potential bribery. Ted Cruz just said if this is true, Biden should go to jail. Are you talking about pardoning the Biden family? Maria, that was misquoted in purposeful opposition research with the headline. You know how this game is played. Mm. I've actually been very clear. I've been the only presidential candidate who has been this clear that the first thing we need to do is clean house, shut down the FBI, refurbish the DOJ. I'm the only candidate to actually pledge to pardon Trump for all of these political persecutions through prosecutions, even peaceful January 6th protesters on down. I'm also happy to go on record. I heard you talking about it before. I'm on record going in favor of an impeachment inquiry on Biden, because I personally believe the Ukraine war is indeed a repayment for a bribe made, now sending $200 billion of taxpayer money in the other direction. But what I've said is let me fast forward to January 21st, 2025, my second day in office, after we've issued those pardons, after we've set into motion shutting down the FBI, not just reforming it, actually restoring the integrity of our government. The question is, is the next thing that I then want to do after we've set our nation forward, is it to then focus my agenda on persecuting or, or prosecuting Joe Biden or his family? My answer to that question is no. I'm going to be focused on stimulating the economy, ending the war in Ukraine, declaring independence from China. That is how we win as one nation. And so, no, I'm not going to be guided by vengeance and grievance. I'm going to be guided by integrity. But the first step to getting there is there can be no reconciliation without truth. We have to get to the bottom of including that bribe, I believe, paid to the Biden family, how that's tied to our war in Ukraine and our support of that war in Ukraine. Get to the bottom of that first. And I stand on the side of leading us forward to a national revival. But we can't get there without first being told the truth. That's where I'm well, at, Maria. Well, you are a businessman and you understand business and yeah. this inflation problem that we have. I've got that. You just went through shutting down corruption. I've got that. What about national security, Vivek? We are all worried about communist yes. China. and Joe Biden's weak response to all of this provocation. What's your answer? So, look, my view is we need a modern Monroe doctrine in this country. The dirty little secret, Maria, is that much of our military defense spending in the last several decades has not actually gone to national defense. The reality is if we do enter a serious conflict, and I worry that Joe Biden is sleepwalking us into potential nuclear conflict with Russia and Russia and China being in a military alliance with one another, that would mean both nations. The reality is we need defense capabilities of the homeland, nuclear defense capabilities, cyber defense capabilities. Super EMP, electromagnetic pulse capabilities that could take out our electric grid. Uh -huh. We are way behind. And so the they, hallmark of my foreign policy yep. is going to be you don't mess with the homeland. Start with that first. Well, it's nice to hear some toughness. Uh, that's for sure. Vivek, yeah. you are at 8 percent. You've got the debate coming up. Uh, if you do not get higher numbers, or would you be prepared to work with perhaps President Trump? Have you spoken to President Trump about being a part of his cabinet? 
I have not spoken to him about being part of his cabinet, and I haven't spoken to him about him being part of mine. But the reality is, I, somebody said I started at 0% in March. I corrected them. I started at 0.0% in March, <laughs> and now I'm running at third in the Republican national primary it's ahead amazing. of the first debate on the same trajectory that Trump was in 2015. So, wow. Maria, I expect to be the nominee. I expect to win this election in a landslide. But here's what I do want. I fully expect, I respect President Trump. I don't bash him because I think he was an excellent president. And yep. we have a good relationship of mutual respect. I expect him to be an advisor, even a sort of mentor when I'm in the White House, teaching me where the bodies are buried, how to go further than he okay. went. That's my mission with our America First agenda. And that's the relationship I expect. All of that sounds like reason to celebrate, which you did this weekend at the Iowa State mm -hmm. Fair. Let's take a look. Words won't come out. He's joking how everybody's joking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. Over plow. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Choke. He's so mad. Nice rap song there. How did that come about, Vivek? It was actually a total surprise. So one of the questions they asked, Kim Reynolds asked me, the governor of Iowa, was, what's your favorite closeout song? She asked all the candidates that. <laughs> so when I'm leaving the stage, they play the song. I've still got the mic in my hand. I couldn't resist. <laughs> and one of the things I'm saying is during this campaign, we all got to have a little fun, actually. And on a more serious note, Maria, one of the things we're doing in this campaign is we're reaching young people. We're bringing them along in droves with us. The difference between a 50.1 electoral margin this cycle and a landslide is young people. And yeah. I think this can't be just a 50.1 Democrat versus Republican tug of war. This needs to be a landslide, a moral mandate, a Reagan 1980 style revolution. That's what I'm leading. And I think, honest to God, I'm the only candidate in this field who can actually deliver that landslide by bringing the next generation with us. I'm the youngest guy ever to run for the Republican nomination for U.S. president. So I better be doing some things differently. Well, it's a great point. Uh, Vivek, it's great to have you this morning. We'll be watching. Thanks very much. Thank you, Maria. 2024 presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. We